It's a scene playing out across the Big Apple with gas stations, restaurants, and laundromats. A landlord raises the rent and a tenant is forced out of business. But in Chelsea, residents are fighting back to keep a grocery store from shutting down. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. It's a big selection for a small store with loyal customers who worry the associated supermarket on 14th Street is about to reach its expiration date after 27 years. It's terrible. It's, you know, not too many places to shop here in the area anymore. Convenient, good prices? Yes, good prices, very good price, yeah. But the price isn't right when it comes to the rent. $32,000 a month now, the owner says the landlord wants to double or even triple it. This city is not for, for poor people, it's for rich people. Be not free. Friday, customers, union workers, and elected officials protested outside the Midtown office of the landlord, Pan Am Equities, claiming Pan Am is forcing a neighborhood asset to close in pursuit of higher profit. It is important for uh, New York landlords to also be a part of preserving a fabric of a community. It's not just about making money. If the store closes, the nearest large grocery will be a Whole Foods two blocks east on 14th Street. You know what they say, Whole Foods, Whole Check. And so we, what we need is an affordable, an affordable supermarket for the residents. In fact, a 2014 survey showed Whole Foods more affordable than Gristiti's, but more expensive than Fairway. Regardless, residents are petitioning the landlord to explore options to keep this store open. The clock is ticking. In Chelsea, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And Tony called, emailed, and stopped by the offices of the landlord, but Pan Am Equities had no comments.